Hey guys, what's up? Will here again, and sorry for the cruddy resolution of this video. Couldn't find it on YouTube for a high quality version, but this is about the Black Lives Matter movement and what I see as attempting to, even the movement itself saying Black Lives Matter, that's attempting to create racial division. This is disturbing. I want you to take a look at this. It is video from Dartmouth University. It shows Black Lives Matter protesters disrupting students trying to study. They're very aggressive, even violent. Listen to this. What you can't hear on this video, you can't make it out, is that some of those demonstrators were shouting expletives at white students calling them filthy racists, and that their tears don't matter. Here's Charles Lonquist. He's a Dartmouth University student. Charles, welcome to the program. Now, I understand that you have now, um, you now reject Black Lives Matter tactics. You were a supporter, but now you're rejecting those tactics. Have I got this right, sir? Um, I think that it's important to recognize that what happened in that video was really a small event that like it was at the very end of the protest and i was very happy with how it went um up to the very end where it, it began to be a little bit more disruptive um also what was said earlier about this protest being violent is not true no one has come forward to the college saying that this was violent and i think that it's really an uh, an indication that like the media as a whole has mischaracterized this movement well, to be something that was okay. violent. I, I'm not, I want um, to look at that protest at Dartmouth University. That was the library. Am I right in saying that some white students were, or one white student was reduced to tears because she'd been called a filthy racist? I mean, it seems to me that this is a kind of, of racial attack. I'm sure you don't support that, do you? Well, I think really the question we should be asking is this, is why are the protesters so angry? No, um, I'm asking I think the that... question, and my question, sir, is... Hey, guys, you see right there? Now, he asked, he says, isn't this a racial attack? So, yes, when you single out a white person and you're saying you're this and that because of your race and because of your skin... You are making these racial stereotypes. That is why the student could not answer. Now, this is funny because when this is shared on Facebook, the caption is, Student Schools Fox News Host. I didn't see it that way. Let's continue. Are those tactics justified? And what is your response to those tactics? Well, I would say considering that uh, on campus prior to this uh, protest, there were hateful and racist yik yaks about students of color at Dartmouth. A Native American student was egged and a Black Lives Matter memorial was defaced. I would say that the anger was justified. And I don't, I, I was so, I was sad to, that this had to happen. So the anger is justified. Okay, so when we, I, I was talking about this with, <clears throat> about video games, and we were discussing Daisy and people being able to use third party camera and looking around doors, looking around corners, looking over walls. And, uh, you know, we were discussing is it, is it cheating? We knew it was this kind of gray area because it was in the game. Well, it's been my my opinion that it's an exploit and it's dishonest. And someone wanting to back that up says, well, everybody's doing it, so you're at an extreme disadvantage if you don't do it. You know, looking over walls and stuff with a third-party camera. My response to this is that that is the exact statement that is used to justify cheating or hacking. Oh, well, you know, everybody else was hacking, so I just had to hack or cheat to get on the level playing ground. There's a point at where we must decide for ourselves 
what is the right and courteous and professional and honest thing to do, what is the moral thing to do, not deciding what everybody else is doing so we'll put myself on an even ground with them. Because if everybody else is making the evil decision, why should that justify you making that evil decision? And I believe that's what they kind of make these excuses. Oh, well, it's justified because there's racism in the world. No, no. If you're speaking out against racism, then racism is never justified. You're being a bigot. You are being you are perpetuating a double standard if you fall to these excusiary I don't even know if that's a word. Falling to use these lame excuses. If if you have to excuse your actions, then you're doing things that you shouldn't have to be. There is no need for excuse. I mean, going towards the light. Let's continue. In this way, and um, I think well, what that you've it got ended here is flat out really... racial conflict, haven't you? I mean, you've got blacks versus whites, or that movement versus whites. That's what you've got. And it's, it's not... astonishing that no, that should I mean, come there out was of American support, University. There was support from. Uh, there were both white and black and Latino and Asian people who were protesting um, throughout the entire thing. So it's not. And it's not like a, a, I think that you're really oversimplifying this. And it's incredibly common. Okay. So the host made a simple observation that this is becoming a targeted protest. You know, in, in this exact instance, there was a white female being belittled, berated, and say, you know, you're a mean racist. She was being targeted because of her race. So this guy making excuses and saying it's not a racially targeted thing is an absolute lie. You know, <clears throat> making the excuse and saying, well, nobody has come out and said it was violent. I Okay, so you want to make the excuse and say there was no physical violence so there was no police called and no one made an actual report i'm sorry those people chanting and cheering and the way they were pointing fingers at the other students there were definitely violent undertones to that they were not conducting in a calm and non-violent manner they were very violent and aggressive with the methods that they were taking to express their displeasure could have been done much better so saying that it was nonviolent that's a lie saying that it's not racially targeted that's a lie so yeah is this student really schooling the fox host or is he just lying let's continue Complex, you know, everyone has no, their own perspective. Wait, wait, wait. Charles, on hold what on a happened. second. I, I'm not oversimplifying yeah. it. We've just run video of a, a disruptive demonstration inside a library of a leading university in the state of, in the United States of America, and we've got white students. I'm told we have a white student reduced to tears, and a black student saying, "Your tears don't matter. You're a filthy white racist." Now, I'm astonished that we've come to that on the campus of an American university. I am astonished that we've come to that point. And I wonder, is it truly justified? You know, I, I again, um, I, I don't think that is, it's not, that's not my position. Okay, sorry to jump back, but asking him if it's justified, right? There is this insane need for political correctness in the world. Let's go to Mizzou, right? Where the black president was made to get out of the office because some students felt like they had been... <coughs> they had endured racism. So what had happened was there was some guys riding in a pickup truck and said some things to some students that was racist and everybody got all upset. These students started protesting and then the football team started protesting and a bunch of the black members of the football team said, we're not going to play unless the president steps down. Okay. 
well, we don't even know if the guys in the pickup were students. They were just random people in public. Anybody can go on a student campus. Here we have racism done by students on a public campus. And yet the media and people try to flip this, you know. People on Facebook are saying, can't you see the media skew against this? And everybody's just trying to villainize the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm sorry, this is not the media doing it. Sure, I'm listening to this Fox host, but I'm also listening to this guy if he has any good things to say. But what I'm really listening to are those students doing that themselves. That's very telling. Not the commentary, but the actual news report. So is this an agenda or is it an agenda of the social media leftists? Continuing. I think that what I, what I would like to get across is that the protesters' anger is justified um, considering, like... There we have it again. It's justified. That's another excuse of saying that anything they may do, it's okay because they were just a little bit upset. They were just upset at the system. You want to know what? The bad things in the system happen to white people also. Police brutality, killings, shootings, false acquittals happen to white people also. But you know what? It's convenient and it's socially acceptable to be racist against white people in this day and age. That is the only reason we have a Black Lives Matter movement, or else it would be all lives matter all the time. America can't see its racism. The, every day, what they have to go through at Dartmouth and navigate this institution, and I think that ultimately this movement, while I, I immediately like responded to it and I thought that it hadn't created a constructive dialogue, I think that uh, several days after you see people on campus really starting to think about structural racism in the United States, mass incarceration, um, the, and a lot of important issues, uh, as well as like a lack of professors of color at Dartmouth. So I think that... Wait, structural racism. So the way that you want to oppose this proposed structural racism, which to me is just another excuse. It's just saying, hey, well, we don't have the opportunities because of this racism of the world is generally racist. I uh, think that's an excuse. So to, to fight structural racism, you're going to do like direct racism, like fight racism with racism. Oh, racism's bad, but let's be racist in our fighting that it doesn't work both ways you know martin luther king would be very disappointed in the agenda that's behind this movement in the loss of respect and in the racism of the protesters themselves it's absolutely ridiculous and it goes against his speeches and the love that he gave continuing uh, to answer your question, that this it, it ultimately has been a good thing for our campus. And I think that, like, just kind of the media always focusing on this one, like, really, like, the basically the actions of, like, a very small number of protesters. It was a small, this was maybe, uh -huh. you know, something that occurred in about 30 seconds. And this was a 20 minute, this was an hour long protest. No one talks about what happened in the entire hour, right? Like, there was a great, uh, community coming together under Dartmouth Hall, sh you know, shouting uh, for justice. Um, and the, uh, there I was think a our viewers, Charles, that. are astonished that those scenes should come from an American university of your reputation, Dartmouth, on, in 2015. I'm out of time, Charles, but we thank you very much for being on the show. I think you got your point across. Thanks very much. Okay, have a good day. Thank you. Now... Thanks for staying with me for the video and my commentary, of course. Um, so I don't have a better quality version of it. Again, I couldn't find it on YouTube, and I really just wanted to make a video about this. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I think this is a show of the skew of the, um, the two sides that are obviously working together to separate us 
Um, it's sad that people fall into this and demand more of this division because the moment that you demand to be treated specially because of your race is the moment that you've given in to institutionalized racism, which is kind of worse than structural racism or whatever it is. Structural. Okay, so our president is black and you claim structural racism? Oh, you're saying structural racism going the other way. Oh, okay, top down. I understand. Thanks, guys. Love you all. I appreciate it. I just got that at the end, right? It just kind of hit me. I know that's not what he meant, but that's kind of what it is, right? We need racism going down from the top. Everybody be racist. Everybody. Let's have Congress be racist. Love you. Research for yourself. I'd love to hear your comments. What do you think? Do you side with the students? Do you side with the Black Lives Matter movement? Or do you side on the that's all ridiculous and it's a ploy to divide us side? That's that's where I'm at. So love to hear from you. Uh, comment down below and take care.